Welcome back one and all to Red Dead Redemption 2. Last time we cleared the main story and entered this prologue, epilogue, John Marshton part of the game. And we arrived in Valentine, or Strawberry, excuse me. Thank you, Doctor. Hey, <laughs> how you getting on? I found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. What do you suggest now? I'll stay here and get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. Okay, let's get back to the wagon. I know it's gonna be a little weird, all this cutting. No weapons. I don't like I don't have any weapons. Loaded up pretty good, Milton. Oh yeah, he's going by Jim Milton at this moment in time. <coughs> don't blame him. Still no guns. You'd think I would have a gun delivering this shit, but no. Hey, hey, what are you? What? Okay, I don't know why the horse just decided to be a fucking idiot. The controls just decided to not work. A little strange, but you know, I'll get it, I'll get it, come on. Come on. There we go, back on the road. Now the controls are working just fine. I really should have a shot... I really should have a shotgun or a pistol or something, anything. Hello? Game. Never mind. A lot of com there was actually quite a bit of complaints about the John Marston Marston part of the game where they felt it was unnecessary. And I guess it kind of is if you think about it. Because it ends perfectly where Arthur dies on the hill up at the... After his fight with Micah. Now, I really would have liked to have shot Micah Bell. Let's be very clear on that. I would have loved to have killed Micah. Because Micah's a prick. Owen Gia. We go past it. North. Owen Gia. That sounds like a reserve. A Native American or Indian reserve. And the reason they were called Indians is because Columbus was supposed to land in India. He discovered America by accident. He was trying to establish a better trade route with India for a spice run. He honestly thought he landed in India. Which is kind of funny. Yeah, this is just riveting right here. <clears throat> what was that flash? There a storm on the mountains, maybe? That's what it looks like. Went to the shooting range yesterday. A little target practice, just a bit of fun. Plinking with a 22. He's my father's 
old as dirt 22. Need to give me my own. But, you know, money is kind of a thing to save right now, so... Let's focus on keeping my ass fed before until then. Yeah, there's another flash. That's weird. What's with the flash? Up, 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 up. The gate's a little further up. Somebody order some shit. I got your shit here. You Mr. Geddes? No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife, we was in business with her family and turned sour. It's long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands. It's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. We'll all work. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey, mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, when's uh, Boss Man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh, these supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> Bye, bud. Hey, that's my horse. <laughs> you can use that horse. And don't get yourself hurt. Oh, I plan very much on hurting them. You ain't getting away with that. That's my damn wagon. All right. I got him there. Come on, horse. Get up. Get up, you stupid fucking horse. Get up. Easy girl, or boy, I don't know, easy horse. That's my damn wagon, you hear me? I will beat the fuck out of you. You want your wagon back? Huh? Yes! I have no goddamn weapons. Come back here. Come on now. Yeah, fuck you. That was a waste of time. All they did was go in a circle.
Hey. Thank you. Milton, isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie. Work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. We work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife, even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. Seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother. He tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. What does Mr. Geddes need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just... Please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But, we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. If things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. Okay. <clears throat> Epilogue, part one. Ranch. Guess I gotta play through the rest of that mission, but eh. Now, who's coming up on my map? Oh, Dickens. Oh, and I can now go... Now I now have access to the whole map, except Fort Wallace, which is still kill on sight. And Charlotte up there. Uh, Albert Manson. Oh, him again. Okay, and... Oh, I still have... The side objectives, okay. Wonder how that's gonna work out with Watch it. Hmm. Damn thing. Hmm. No, no. Okay, boss man, what you need? Milton, get over here. Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, it was nothing, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, <laughs> Milton. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. John James you Milton. Hard. You be honest, you'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Oh, lucky man. Then you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John, Jim? Extra hard. Hey, hey, get over here. Mr. Dickens? Go we'll find old Jim Milton here something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. Come on this way. I, I was on my chores anyhow. Say, is that your family getting in the Morning, wagon partner. up there? Ah, believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? That, that you ran off those hired guns? Yes. Look, can we, uh, not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no, sure. Yeah, of course, mister. I don't want to worry her. Oh, yeah. I hear that.
Mrs. Milton. Jim Milton. How fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kind of... It's fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I gotta go. They were kind of stealing the wagon. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. I was going to milk the cows. Come on, I'll do it. You are going to milk the cows? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I thought you was, uh... I'm a ranch hand. A new one, at that. When you got here, them hired guns? I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It was about time someone stood up to them fellers. It'd be easier if I had my guns. Where are you from, anyway, partner? Well, you know, up north, mostly. Been in these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, <laughs> it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything, the ranches. But, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. See, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? <laughs> Good lord, no. Nothing like that. Now, oh. just a ranch hand, then. Just a ranch hand. Failed at a bunch of things, like most men. <laughs> well, I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. I'm sure of it. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Here's the cows. Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. But most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never, never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey, just sit down, I'll show you how. Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprises. So, give her a pat first? Oh, well, is this n really? This oh. does not feel necessary. You so Almost got a pail full. Your boy? Sure. Hey, Lancelot. Well, hey, Lancelot. Hey. We're gonna make a dairy maid of your paw yet. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. We all gotta earn That's our enough, keep. Jim. Come on. How about you and the boy uh, help me clean out the stables? Sure. Come on, son. you now, Lancelot? Twelve, sir. Ain't that grand. It's such a fine name. I like it. I got... I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> I can tell. Now, it ain't pleasant work, but it's gotta be done. Mr. Dickens said... I know what he said. We'll do it. Won't we, boy? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Jack, let's just try and take some pride in this work, hard as it may be. Boy, bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. Nothing like cleaning out manure. You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, sir. Nothing. You almost got me. 
Yeah, this ain't pleasant work, Jack. Stinking piles of... That stinks. It does. But it certainly makes for the crops to grow well. One more pile. Gunslinging to shit shoveling. Great. Reckon even your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Okay. And open on up. Hey. Hey. Where's Jack? <clears throat> Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want? Same as I've been? Won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, well, you know. Me too. Put some coffee on. <laughs> Three dollars. Tom and David both have something for me. You actually can go to the area of the first game now that Blackwater's clear for you to go into. Okay. Well, let's get on with it. I've only been going 20 minutes. Well, this guy seems closer. I said, Abe, yes, where are the other hands? Uh, I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Getty, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly more, a mare about to full, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest, Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. Come on, he's over here. I'm good. You get off. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. Since you showed up, runaway horse has been the sum of our problems. And I am thankful for that. What? I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all, huh? Maybe I could have handled them. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Oh, 
when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. Uh, okay, then. All right. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get to. Thanks, kid. Easy. Whoa, none of that. It's all right. Easy there. Easy. Okay, okay. You Duncan? I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. Need a hand with that horse? No. Whoa. Yes. <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, yes. Yes, I do. Pretty big one. That's Jeremiah. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. I you don't done? think you're quite done talking. Come on. Relax. Come on. Easy, boy. Oh, someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? Oh, calm down. He likes you. Ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. I'm gonna take him out first. Burn some of this heat off of him. Okay. I'll wait in the corral. Here we go. Go for a ride. Come on. Come on. Where's that big mean horse? Let's get a lather up. Horses need to be ridden and worked. It's good for them. All right. He's ready for you. Okay. Get on up there. Go nice and slow. Stay calm. Me? The horse. You're calm. The heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there isn't another horse? You ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh. Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? Don't they know. Say Mr. Abel's real rich. Way richer than Pa. And he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie. And if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but... But... Just worry about the horse. Yeah? Yes, sir. I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. Uh, 
Okay. How long much longer you do I have to, to do this? I thought you were going to help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my husband. Thanks, Jim. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. This is the stall. Yes, ma'am. Milton? Right here. So, you know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not, Not a too thing. much. My God. Where does my I hope this doesn't get like disgusting. Either. Still, we all know where he goes in town. And it ain't hunting I'm, for hands. I'm pretty sure I found hard. him. You just to stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go on. Whatever you say, ma'am. Oh, gross. Thank God. Okay, now hold on. Didn't come. Get a hold of it again. I slipped. It's coming out one way or another. Grab them again. Oh, I lost it. Find them, Milton. There we go. Come Gotta on. mash it. Mash the button. Oh, cool. huh? Okay, well, I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah, we, we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm I'm busy, uh, too busy for social calls. Of course. Good day, Mr. Milton. Floozy. Hey, John. Jim. <sighs> Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on. Please. For me. For him. How's he been? kind of withdrawn. Quiet. You know. Sure. Take him out, please. Come on, boy. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Around to the left. What do you see? Pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Let's go. How you doing? Fine. Can we go home? No. You're... Stay calm. Where would you like to go riding? Aside from home. I don't know, but maybe that stream. Good idea. Now you know all this. Get him going. Come on, you know. The horse can feel your fear. Just act confident, okay? Uh-huh. Confident. Yep. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. 
Now let's go. Jack, a little kick and a... See, you can do it. How about you speed up a mic? Okay. Whoa. You got this. Now let's slow it down. Whoa, boy. Whoa. Why don't we speed it up again? Okay. Come on. Yeah. You got this. <clears throat> Even faster. Come on. Faster? You heard me. It's about a good speed to go on. Uh yeah, I'm not really sure what to say in these, because this is the epilogue, it's just sort of here. Where are we even going? The creek. My guess is we're going to follow the road to where it hits the creek. controls are really tight in this. Whoa. Here we are. Yep. We should get back. You think you're ready for a little race? A race, huh? Oh, I've got a bad feeling about this. I guess. All right. We go back to the path and up to the ranch. Okay. On my go. Go! I'll just be keeping close behind Jack. Good. We're doing it, boy. Out of all the voice acting, that there is probably the worst of it. Hey, come back here. You'll have to catch me. Your horse is much bigger. And you're much smaller. Like a jockey. Last straight. Come on. Actually, jockeys typically were short. Something about a shorter build makes for a better horse jockey. I'll let him have that. I beat you! I beat you! I Well beat... ridden, son. I beat you. You did. Like I said, your riding has gotten so much better. Thanks. Hey, keep practicing your riding. You too. You need it. <laughs> Smart ass.
I'm headed to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. Cleaning at the doctor's office. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Give the place a tidy. Okay, Pa. See you later. I'll be doing that next time. Join me then on Red Dead Redemption 2 as I... Go work for Tom Dickens. And, well... Hopefully soon I'll get to explore, go do, knock these out. Get my guns back. And probably show some of the online stuff. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph. Signing off.